Hello everyone and welcome to my playthrough of Nobody Wants to Die. Uh, this game was actually announced a few months ago, or, uh, earlier this year, around March, I believe. Um, and ever since then, I've really been wanting to play it. No one really knows much about this game. Very, very few information has actually been leaked. Um, I have not seen the 10 minute uh, gameplay thing, so I know, again, very little. I know that it's set in the future. It's sci-fi. Um, sci-fi punk, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I know there's some aspects of, like, time travel. Uh, and much like if you ever watched or read Altered Carbon, it has to do with um, basically, like, uh, people going into, like, different bodies. Like, their minds going into different bodies. All that kind of shit. Most importantly... It's apparently very much a detective noir game, which is right up my alley. I love this kind of stuff. Um, and yeah, I again, I know very little, but let's get into it. Haunted by your own looming mortality? Not anymore. Now there's Icaret, a technological miracle that lets us transfer consciousness from one body to another. That's right, humanity's wildest dream has been fulfilled. The dream of immortality. Now when sickness or old age starts dragging you down, you can bid on a brand new body at your local government auction house. Give yourself and your loved ones a new lease on life. And don't forget, the body subscription service is mandatory for all citizens 21 and older. Is it really? So protect your investment. Always avoid illicit substances. Never skip any mandated shell inspections. And prioritize your well-being physical, psychological, and especially financial. Any lapse subscription payments will result in your body being submitted to a bailiff auction. And remember, any and all violations will be prosecuted by the Department of Mortality. This is a gorgeous interior. Don't you already know who the murderer is? That's not the point. Then at least tell me what's going on. Uh, good choices. Okay, just, just watch. Just watch, okay? This is the best part. Where he's questioning the suspect. And when are you gonna question me? Oh, you want me to question you? Don't you want to? Uh... <laughs> Should I handcuff you? We always, uh, handcuff suspects. I think you'd better. Sounds dangerous. I'm always dangerous. Too bad you didn't warn me before we got married. Would that have changed your mind? If it had, where do you think we'd be now? I don't know. Maybe I... maybe I wouldn't have. Huh? The fuel gauge is up there. Wow. What's going on? I can't move. Ambrosia. Down all that. Dude, he's got whiskey, he's got moonshine. And she's gone. Five. Prohibition violation at intersection of... U Breaking news. The president today signed into law a controversial bill reducing the age limit for free body subscriptions, despite earlier promises to the contrary. Fucking politics. Amen. Okay, wow. Um... What is that? 
great gesture from a great man. Edward Green sponsors Central Park Exhibition. This Friday, Treasure is commemorating the heritage of the old continent. We will fill Central Park. Free admission for all New York City residents, thanks to the generosity of well-known politician and philanthropist Edward Green. Read on pages three to five. Can we rotate? Oh. Crisis. Pass or veto. Congress is not backing down on a controversial bill that lowers the cutoff age for free body subscription from 21 to 20. The president says he will consider all options, but has not ruled out a veto. Read on page 6. Scandal on TV. Drake star leaving the days of eternal life with the heartbreak behind the decision. A moral scandal and a body in which he does not feel like himself. Interview on page 2. Weather forecasters anticipate moderate air pollution. Standard decontamination procedures apply. Stan slight chance of showers with occasional thunderstorms. Temps range from a low of 57 to high of 62. Wow, that's... Pretty damn cold. I'm assuming that's Fahrenheit. That's that's like below freezing or near freezing. If that's Celsius. That's boiling at that point. So what is this controversial bill that lowers the cutoff age for free body subscription from 21 to 20? So I guess if a child, like anyone under 21, gets a free body subscription in case they die, they just put them in a body of another child? Is that is that how it works? Oh, here we go. Oh, that's weird. Look at all that, uh, what is it? Ip uh, ip not ipso factum. The, the fake writing, I, for, I always forget what it's called. Anyways, uh, let's let's put this down. I do not want that. What is that? That's a... That's a gun. A Sullivan 2030. That's a cool looking gun. Sullivan. Saved my ass more than once. Pull the trigger, damn it. Pull it! Okay, hold on one second. Okay, much better. Because the sensitivity was really low. Actually, let me... Let me put it all the way up. Okay, a little too much. What is that? Oh, it's an earpiece. So I don't know how much I like... Kara, how you feeling? Ready to get back in the saddle, Chief. I uh, sent you the papers. Oh, I know. I'm looking at them. Did you hear this? Fuck! What are you... Don't tear them up! Fuck! The accident was barely two weeks ago. Look, the committee already thought you were a hot mess. Trying to come back this soon? That's just got him convinced. You're no fucking medical miracle, James. Uh, about all that overtime. I've been in this department for half a century. It'd be a whole century if you counted all that overtime. All that off-the-books overtime? I bet the committee would love to get fearful of that. Oh, damn you, Kara. Come on, Chief. You gotta let me come back. My hands are tied. Officially. Yeah? So unofficially, I'm all ears. Political case. Discreet. I'm listening. Doing a favor for a guy whose signature trumps every tested commission out there. Okay, but why do I feel like there's a but coming? Because you're fucking difficult. Also, without your sync tests, can't get you back in the system. So I'm gonna put you with a liaison officer. 
She'll be the one with full access. A babysitter? Fucking hell. You asked for it, Sunshine. Wait, I'll put her on. Okay, I don't know how much I like this depth of field. Turn that off and let you know. But no. Oh god, what is this? New York, hello? Oh, Hellhounds. So it's a Cerberus? Kind of? Okay, I'm sorry guys. This depth of field is like really... Uh, where was it? Is enabled. I don't mind the chromatic aberration. Motion blur. You know what? I don't like motion blur that much. I'll keep it low for now. So what does it say? A balanced... I can't even turn it sideways, can I? Not really. What is it suitable for? All body ages, contents, 80 pills. So what does it say here? A balanced compound of necessary minerals and ingredients to combat a range of negative synchronization symptoms. Synchronization symptoms? Is this not real? It used to give a bigger kick. Huh. Check and reset. That's. This is interesting. They're all like happy pills. Evidence number. More and more smugglers getting caught. Lucky for me. May cause blindness to all your problems. That's pretty funny. So we don't even get to drink it if we wanted to. Fuel gauge is at the top. That's interesting. I mean, I guess there's enough stuff going on in there. Um, okay, I guess we'll... Oh, read that one first. Congratulations on your new body. May it serve you for many years. For an indefinite period, signed on this day, October 9, 2329, at the Consciousness Transmission Center in New York City, between James Cara, holding whatever, here and after referred to as the recipient, and the Office of Health, here and after referred to as the lender. Subject of the contract is body, 42, 6 feet, 163, class, discount 50%, thanks to the NYPD. Distinctive features, barcode on right forearm, numerous scars on arms, legs, and torso. One, I don't know what that means. Guess rule number one, the recipient is obliged to abide by the general rules of use, regulated by the code of bodies, under penalty of fine, imprisonment, and or loss of right to use the aforementioned body. The recipient is obliged to carry out all necessary actions to restore and or maintain full bodily functionality, as specified in Annex 1, under penalty of a fine, imprisonment, and or loss of of right to use the aforementioned body. <coughs> In the event of dismissal from the NYPD service, the recipient is obliged to immediately pay the balance of the employee discount for the lender's individual citizen, citizen account number under penalty of immediate body, immediate loss of right to the aforementioned body. One out of 13. I don't know, what, what is that one out of 13? hundred fucking years of work in taxes. Where did it say one of 13? Okay. Alright, now let's get out of here. Track with all objects in the car. Okay, cool. See, no, there is to see. What the? What am I doing? Am I jumping down? That's for the brave new world. So immersive you could drown. But of course drowning is forbidden. 
blocked like any other exit from paradise. Kara? James? Kara? No, fuck that. No way. Forget it, Chief. You're already on the line. James. Sarah Cotton. Sarah. James Carroll. Let me go pull some strings. Back in a minute. This is some shit, huh? He dropped us into some bullshit, didn't he? And I had such good stats up to now. Crap. Yeah, I'm fucking thrilled to be working with you, too. Uh, what can I say? Your reputation precedes you. Especially after you fucked up half the city with that train. Uh... I don't remember much. I don't remember much about the accident. People tell me it was kind of a spectacle. Can, can we get back in the car? So... What, you haven't synchronized yet? I run like clockwork, okay? I'm in sync like a fucking Swiss watch, okay? <laughs> Don't piss in my ear and tell me it's raining. Okay. I mean, back. it is. It's our best friends, right? Sorry, boss. Sarah, I've sent you all the authorizations. Forward the package to Karen. Listen, he's a good cop. Just keep an eye on him, okay? Steiner out. All right, let's get the show on the road. I need the address of the nearest post office. Fine. Okay, can we... Oh, now we get to choose? Sam. Did you know there used to be rooftop bars in the city? Yeah, until they figured out open spaces make desynchronization symptoms worse. Oh, shit. You don't buy into that nonsense, do you? Tell me something, James. Do you know the feeling after you've spent time in a wide open space when you go back to your capsule apartment on the ground floor? I don't live in a capsule apartment. No, you fucking don't. So maybe stop talking out of your ass. Such hostility. That girl in the hat overshadows more and more of the city, doesn't she? Sorry? Well, the one from the body auction ad? I haven't seen it. How could you not see it? It's on every goddamn corner. Um. Looks like TS-45-7. You're in Times Square? All the best movies are here. It's the last place they play good old-fashioned crime stories. <laughs> yeah? You like watching how the cops used to do it? Detectives, not cops. Big difference. I'll take your word for it. Okay, movie buff. Go for the package. Platform 53D, Terminal 3. I mean, why are we, like, hanging out the car for half the fucking time? Start engine. You gotta have a sunroof when it's raining. <laughs> purple, purple. It's a good drink. Having a goal, any goal, is better than an activity. An alternative to focusing on the symptoms. The memories. I'm 120 years old. And I don't have any strength left to keep recalling the past. So this kind of stuff always intrigued me, like the, the transcendence, you know, like... Not necessarily putting yourself in, like, a computer, but, like, putting yourself in other bodies. Like, how does that... How does that work? Like... Okay, let me clarify. Not how does it work, but like, would you just keep putting yourself in different bodies? Like, how are the bodies even made? I would, like, they can't be people that have died because you can't really die. You just move you into a new body. How are the bodies themselves made? Are they grown? I know how I come across. Hey, people love me. That's just how it is. I just, I want you to understand, I'm in the home stretch for a fat promotion. I've been working my ass off, so I can't afford any mistakes right now. And, you know, you're sort of notorious for unconventional methods. Who? Me? Oh, come on. Everybody knows you don't give two greasy rat shits about regulations. The only thing I ask is that we act professionally, okay? Uh, yeah, use the horn. Sorry, can't hear you over all the noise. Great, real mature. 
Do we want to drink? Nah, I'm gonna skip that trope. I'll wait patiently. Third option's locked, eh? So, yeah, like I was saying, in... Like, I'm kind of comparing it to Altered Carbon, because that's the only thing I really know. But in Altered Carbon, like, what they do is... Uh, well, with the main character, the guy's mind, they... Bas he's incarcerated. Like, they don't have, like, jails like how we have now. They basically put the mind in mental jail. Where they just put him in a coma. And they put another person inside that body. Um, so... Yeah, let's exit. <clears throat> I'm wondering if they have that kind of thing here. Okay, so this sensitivity is bugging me. Maybe it was fine the way it was before. Okay. Alright. If you guys haven't read or seen uh, Ultra Carbon, it's a great, it's a great book. It's a great series, actually. Full name and shipping code. James Cara, seven seven one one two P. Police shipment. Additional verification required. Enter badge number nine eight four. No authorization. Shit, Sarah, I need access. Oh right. Uh, enter my number one one six seven three nine. Thanks. 116739. Thank you. The package is on its way. We hope you enjoy it. That's pretty cool. They deliver. This is how they deliver mail? Have you opened it yet? Oh, I have to One get, second. I have to like get in, in like very close to the car. I love how, like, when, when it comes to noir... Oh, it's already parked? I love when it comes to noir, no matter what era you're in, it's always, like, the same. You know, it's always raining, it's always, like, other cars nearby, you always have the same aesthetics of the car. It's like the 1920s, but, like, it's, it's, it's not a 1920, it's, like, 2320. It's always gotta be a 20 in there somewhere. What is this? Oh, our badge. Just carrying this lousy scrap of metal. Just don't abuse it, yeah? Remember, you're not reinstated yet. Uh, you don't need to remind me. Actually, yeah, you don't need to remind yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, I got it, okay. You don't need to remind me. I'm just saying, it's my ass on the line now, too. is confidential and will be automatically destroyed after reading. Oh Select shit. section to read the files. Uh, let's do, let's go in order. Fix. Subject's name is Edward Green. Who? Hard to confuse this mug with anybody else. Green sponsoring oh. some kind of exhibition in Central Park. I saw it on the news earlier. Oh yeah, I heard about that. Well, let me look it up. Yep, it's supposed to be in a few days. I'll have to get back on his feet pretty damn fast then. Okay, Green, Edward. Oh, shit. Sarah? You okay? Shit. Shit! Oh, I'm reading up on Green. Holy fuck, you know who this guy is? Um... 
Getting cold feet? So, mission. We get in, pull the Icarite, deliver it to the Consciousness Transmission Center. No sweat. You're telling me the Covenant Chief, the guy who used to be the Secretary of Health, his Icarite's just lying around in a dead body? Fucking hell! Why isn't this going through official channels? So we can prevent a scandal? Prevent a scandal. Leave his name out of the mud. You know what could happen if the Icarite of a guy like fell into the wrong hands? Now, the fewer people know about it, the better. The atmosphere's tense because of this bill to reduce free body subscriptions. Exactly. Look on the bright side. I'm betting Green's gratitude hits the gas on that dream promotion of yours. Where's his body? Fifth Avenue, top floor. Looks like it's Green's own apartment. You'll get a chance to see the wannabe Olympus with your own eyes. Come with me. Want to tag along? Uh, no. I'm not authorized for field work. Ooh, we unlocked the third option. Uh, let's go with it. You don't leave the house much, do you? What? What kind of question is that? I'm just connecting dots. You haven't seen the ad, but it's literally everywhere. And you don't want to come with me. I already told you. That's because it's against the rules. And stop detective baiting me, or whatever the hell you call it. Of open spaces. This is about your whole afraid of wide open spaces thing. I'm not afraid. All I was saying was that the research found that the things that I know, I know. But you did grow up on the ground floor. Didn't you? If I say yes, will you fucking drop it? Must have been difficult. It must have been pretty damn difficult. Living down there. It was carefree as a fucking fairy tale, and that's the end of this goddamn conversation. Let's get on with it. Attention, documentation will be automatically destroyed. I mean, why James, would it... I, um, I know you're not reinstated yet, but... Have you recovered from the accident? Like, mentally, I mean? I don't get why you would destroy that anyway. It's police documentation. Uh, like, it's gonna fall from the wrong hands. Um, asking for me or you? For me, or for yourself? For both of us. We're... we're in the same boat, right? Listen, you just kick back and put your feet up, all right? You've got nothing to worry about. I'll ping you when I get there. Car out. Uh oh we're desyncing. I wonder if that ambrosia is like chemically addictive. So I took this job. I'd take any job at that point, even though political cases fester like rust laced wounds. I was off to hang out with high society, of which I always had a low opinion. Maybe because it consisted mostly of low people. Interesting loading screen. At this altitude, the air was so clean that without a smoke, I was beginning to suffocate. All right. That's going to do it for this episode, guys. Um, I'm intrigued so far. Uh, I know we haven't really gotten to see the actual game mechanics yet, but um, I'm I like I like the the settings so far, um, the aesthetics especially. I kind of again I kind of have this, a soft spot for like the the noir detective noir, um, you know, the dialogue especially the the ambience where it's always like raining, and again like those 1920s cars like the the interior. Um, the no-nonsense detective, even though we didn't drink. But again, there are some tropes I don't really want to 
I don't really want to keep going down. But yeah, hope you guys are are enjoying everything so far, um, and uh, we'll we'll see what's what's inside that room in the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.